Hello friends, today we'll open the MSI Vector 16 HXAI A2 XW. As always, you'll find everything about the laptop in our detailed text review on laptopmedia.com. The link is below the video. Now let's start. We begin by removing 13 screws from the bottom cover with a Japanese industrial standard number one driver. 12 of them sit in their own recesses. The 13th hides under the factory seal sticker in the middle. All but that center screw sit flush, so once the sticker is peeled, you'd never guess there's a fastener underneath. Here was the sticker. Let's start now. The last four screws along the front edge are noticeably shorter, so separate them for reassembly. A thin plastic tool helps pop the clips on the small rear cover just behind the display. We slide in a second pick to work across the hinge line. It's not difficult, just take your time so the paint stays pristine. Once the clips are free on this side, the cap loosens itself on the far side as well. You can clearly see the latch positions here.
We move down the right edge, ready to lift the main panel. Opening the display slightly gives needed clearance. Flip to the opposite side and repeat the process. Time to raise the lid before we continue, so the hinges don't trap the cover. A small gap has appeared. Perfect. With the screen open, check that the hinges aren't binding. If they're clear, keep going. There's space beside the panel, so work confidently but gently. We even have a gap beside the hinge area. Looks like everything's loose. One tiny spot still clipped. We probably pressed it back while turning the chassis. It's tricky to apply leverage and stay in frame at the same time. Done. The rear cap is free. Now for the full bottom plate, start unclipping along the side.
Rear clips release next. Continue forward toward the touchpad area and finish along the front edge. That went smoothly. Flip the laptop over to lift away the cover. Bottom plate is off. Time to disconnect the battery. Four screws secure the pack. Out they come. The Vector ships with a large 90 watt hour lithium polymer battery. See how long it lasted in our battery life test on laptopmedia.com. Don't forget to check out our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page. Here's the battery connector. It sits tight, so instead of yanking the wires, we pry up gently with a non-metal tool. The laptop offers two M.2 PCI Express slots. One Gen 4 and one Gen 5. Let's pull the top drive. The second is stacked beneath. We remove the protective sticker, which is metallized and shields against electromagnetic interference. For storage, MSI has chosen Micron SSD model 2500. You'll find our storage benchmarks in our detailed review on laptopmedia.com. Next to the SSD bay is the Wi-Fi 7 module. It lifts with one screw if you ever want an upgrade. Finally, pop the shield over the RAM slots. These are standard DDR5 SO DIMMs, so upgrades to 96GB are a breeze. This is the official limit, but it surely will work with even more. We have two Samsung modules here. Two fans, six heat pipes, dual SSDs, dual RAM slots, and that big battery. 
MSI really left nothing soldered except the CPU and GPU. The Vector 16 scores high on serviceability, but you first have to open it, and that's a bit difficult job if you don't have enough experience. Also, the warranty sticker will disappoint you if you decide to upgrade or service your machine in the first years. Check our in-depth review for benchmark numbers, cooling tests, and display quality. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit laptopmedia.com for the full story.